Hi there! In this video we're going to be working with our 3D pie chart. We're going to be doing some 3D effects and then also putting a shadow effect under our pie chart. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, we want to open up our format data series pane. So in this instance the, the items that we're going to do we're going to change this into more of a rounded um, pie chart and this is this part is called our data series so we want to make sure that we're working just with the pie chart itself so there's a couple ways you can get that pane open if I point to any of the pie slices on my pie chart I haven't clicked yet I'm just pointing to it and then I double click it will open up um, the um, the pane. However, can you see how this is the, it says format chart area and I want to make sure that I'm um, getting the format data labels otherwise what I'm going to be doing is making changes to this whole chart area. So I think I'm going to try that one more time. So you can see how um, uh, really important it is to point to exactly what you're looking at. So let's try this one more time. There we go. So I was a little bit closer in on the on the pie chart. I think I was a little too far out and it thought I wanted to work with the whole chart. Um, so you can see here it says format data series. I can also tell my just my chart is selected because I can see these little selection handles around the entire chart. Um, Let's see, another way to do that is if you're having a hard time with the double clicking, you can right click on any one of the pie pieces and in your shortcut menu you're looking for format data series. So however you want to get there, just make sure it says format data series, okay? All right, so now under the effects option. So I want to make sure to click that so I can then see the things that I'm looking for. And it may come up looking something like this where you just have these things listed. So the first thing we want to do is go to the 3D format area and if it is not already um, expanded you can click that little down arrow to expand it. And we're going to be working with both the top and the bottom bevel. So the first thing we want to do is click on the little arrow here to choose a bevel style. And I think that they've actually changed the name of this. Um, I think it used to be called a circle, but actually this is the one that we want. It's now, I believe, called round. So this is the one that we want to pick. So we're going to choose the round bevel and then we're going to change the width and the height of the top part. So in the width box I can um, drag select over just the six or I can drag select over the entire thing. I'm going to put in 512 and then click down in the height box. You'll see it automatically puts the point size in there, the PT, so if you select over it, no big deal, just go ahead and um, type that in and it will automatically fix it for you. So you can see by changing the height and the width here where it's rounding it out and it's making it shallower, more shallow, excuse me. So now let's do the same thing to the bottom bevel. So I clicked on the little um, arrow here. I'm going to also choose round aka circle and I'll change the amounts to the same thing. So 512 for the width and then 512 for the height. And you can see it's made my pie chart into more of like a saucer versus the um, pie chart that it looked like previously where it had a um, taller uh, side to it. So if you're not sure about these numbers, you can certainly just play around with these. You can see how easy it is to maneuver them and get the effect that you want. Okay, so now that we've worked with both the top and bottom bevel, again we were uh, chose the 3D format, we had to expand that. Make sure that you're in the effects area in the format data series pane. Um, we changed both of those to 512. Um, then what we want to do is um, just change the look of it just a little bit. I'm going to continue to scroll down here until I see the material button and I'll click that and then I'm looking for the plastic effect. So it looks like it's under the standard area. Here's the plastic effect. I get that tool tip so I'll go ahead and click on that. It just kind of gives it a little shine to it. Um, and then the last thing I think, let's put a shadow underneath um, our our um, pie chart. So I'm going to collapse the 3D format information just clicking on that little arrow again. I'll go up here to the shadow information and then on the presets button 
I'm looking down for the perspective area. So I need to scroll down. It's more towards the bottom. You can see here's the perspective area. And this is the one that I want. It puts a shadow below the pie chart. So let's click that and then you can see it, it uh, put in this uh, shadow for us. So you can see that you can do some really nice things and make your pie chart look nice and professional. So let's go ahead and close our format data series pane and I'll just click outside of the chart so you can see how we've uh, changed the formatting of the pie chart. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks so much.